The success of this project firmly is rooted in the engagement and commitment of the design team in an integrated design process, absolutely fundamental. The track is 250 metres long, it's made out of uh, Siberian larch. The, the banking goes up to about 42 degrees and then on the flats it's, it's about at 12 degrees. We've got 6,000 seats. Um, the roof over the top, we've really tried to pull the whole thing in to make, make the building as tight as possible, but even then it's still 13,000 square metres, so it's a very light, about two football pitches. Um, but on the counter side, the depth of the, of the structure is about, sort of, I don't know, about 12 inches. So it's a very shallow roof spanning 130 metres from one side to the other. The Velodrome is the biggest venue that was run as a competition. I think there was about 70 teams that went in for it eventually. I think what, what won us the competition was that clearly the Olympics is a two week and the Paralympics another two weeks. It's a very short venue. Uh, but the, the whole building is going to be there for 50, 60, 70 years. So therefore it's very much about designing a building that's there for the whole length of the, its use rather than designing for the, the Olympics. The, the intention is it's meant to be a sort of a mecca for all types of cycling. The, originally on that site was the East Way Cycle Circuit, so it's got a long history of cycling. So in some ways all you're doing is picking up a, an original concept and then adding to it really trying to bolt on as much as possible in terms of cycling. So it's, it's everything from track cycling for elite cyclists all the way down to, to BMX for sort of hopefully families that can come and use it in the future. In terms of the subject sustainability, anything that can reduce the tonnage of steel or concrete um, has a huge bearing in terms of the reduction of embodied energy. And that's what's achieved through this cable net structure. They've achieved about a thousand tons of steel reduction compared to a conventional enclosure of that shape in terms of building form, uh, maximizing daylight, introducing natural ventilation, avoiding to have cooling or zoning a building up in different ways. So on the energy side, we were supposed to achieve 50% reduction against Part L, our building achieved 30. Uh, on the water side, we were supposed to achieve 40% reduction, we achieved 75% reduction. And the success or the beauty about the project is that if you look at it, it doesn't have the biggest photovoltaic roof in the Olympic Park or the biggest this or that or wind turbine strapped somewhere. It has none of that and yet it's the most sustainable building uh, on, the, on the Olympic Park and yet it has none of those elements. So it's integrated holistic design, clever teamwork and uh, that's what you can achieve. What the key thing about the velodrome is the technology that's been used to design it to allow it to be put together to, to build it. So you couldn't have built it five years ago. The computing power and software simply wasn't advanced enough five or six years ago to put that building together. So in terms of the, the, the future thinking, it's a very um, odd mix of historical materials, timber, steel and concrete, it's been around you know, many, many years, to putting it together in, in a modern way. <laughs>